Well, uh, congratulations to the United States men's basketball team for winning a uh, gold medal. Uh, third straight? Oh, uh, yeah, third straight. A uh, fourth straight pala. Fourth straight. Since uh, 2008. So, fourth straight gold, gold medal. So, uh, Congratulations also to Kevin Durant for uh, proving that he can uh, he can lead this uh, this uh, roster of uh, NBA players who is now playing for Team USA in uh, the 2020 Tokyo Olympics or 2021 Olympics. It's supposed to be 2020, but because of the pandemic, so 2020, 2021, Genoa. But uh, KD, KD had done what uh, many say he couldn't done. Even the great Magic Johnson would say. Even Scotty Pippen would say. The, the USA basketball team cannot win without LeBron, Clay, Thompson, and even Steph Curry. Well, <laughs> gold is gold. You can never change that. And uh, it has been proven na sumasabay na yung ibang bansa. Kasi yung final score was 87-82. So, 5 points lang yung nilamang nung USA sa France. So, 5 points. So, ang kwento daw doon, kasi article yun yung nabasa ko, at saka yung sa ibang mga sports news sa, sa states. Mainit daw si Dame, nung si Dame yung Lela, but nag-miss si Dame, Dame ng 2 free throws ata. And then, you know, Kevin Durant rescued the team. Kaya siguro lumamang sila ng 5. 5 na yung lamang nila. Siguro 7 or 8 yun, kasi nag-mintis daw si Dame ng ano eh dalawang free throw so game situation ay eh, talagang si Kevin Durant daw yung nagdala kasi nung humahabol yung France si Kevin Durant daw yung keeping the US team afloat so you know at least KD KD is undefeated in uh, in the Olympiad or in the Olympics kasi 2012 siya nagsimula maglaro so gold 2016 gold and ngayon gold so 3-0 si Kevin Durant pagdating mo dun sa sa Olympics plus naglaro siya nung 2010 ano eh 2010 FIBA World Championship so 1-0 siya dun dahil isang beses pa lang siya naglalaro at saka congratulations kay uh, Chris Middleton and uh Drew Holiday, Ma magandang na i-contribute nila defensively, lalo na si Drew Holiday winning the gold medal and an NBA championship in the same year parang si sila si Pippen at saka si Jordan noong 1992 winning an NBA championship and an Olympic gold medal actually si David Robinson was yung unang una doon kasi David Robinson played in the 1998 Seoul Olympics. Pero David Robinson is not an NBA is not an NBA player during 1988. Yun yung last time na amateur yung pinadala. Okay? Bronze yung nakuha ni David Robinson noon. So David Robinson played in 3 Olympics, 1988, 1992 and 1996. Si Carmelo Anthony played in uh, I think 2004, 2008, 2012, 2016. So apat si Melo. So isang bronze, isang bronze, uh, tatlong gold. Ito naman si Kevin Durant, all gold. Ibig sabihin tatlong Olympics. So, nabanggit ko lang. Kasi, NBA players, 
is pag nagrepresent sila ng USA, meron silang dalawa, tatlo or apat na beses silang magre-represent ng Team USA. Like Ryan Numelo, apat na beses. David Robinson, apat na beses kasama na nung sa Seoul Olympics noong 1988. Even si Pippen, ang last Olympics ni Pippen is 1996 noong sa Atlanta. Uh, si Charles Barkley, 1996 din. John Stockton, Carmelo, 1996 din. So, yung mga players na yun na, na, na nag-represent sa USA uh, tw twice or thrice. Kasi si Jordan, dalawa. Jordan is represent the USA in 1984. Amateur pa siya noon and then nung Barcelona Olympics. Pero si Jordan, nag-represent na siya ng Team USA noong 1983. Pan-American Games yun. And <laughs> doon na gulat kasi akala ko number 9 kasi lagi niya ginagamit sa international na number 9. Kasi Tony Parker pala number 9 kasi ina-idol niya si Jordan noon. Pero nag number 5 pala siya nung nung 1983. Napanood ko lang yung highlights against Puerto Rico. Siguro nung Pan American Games yun na Spanish yun eh, Spanish yung commentary. So hindi ko na naintindihan yung commentary but against Puerto Rico yun siguro pan American game yun kasi 1983 gold medal din yun so Jordan was undefeated in a international competition ibig <laughs> sabihin undefeated meaning puro gold diba? si Kobe puro gold si Durant puro gold kahit nung sa 2010 niya gold medal din yun Kasama pa nga nung 2010 na, naglalaro, yun nung last year ata ni Chauncey Billups. So nakasama pa nga si Chauncey Billups dun sa 2010, 2010 World Basketball Championships. Si Chauncey Billups na yung pinakabeterano nung panahon na yun. So congrats to Team USA for winning gold.